we earned it and we wanted to sell the receivable. So we earned, in this case, uh, 500. We're going to say tab. Why are people going to pay us 500 in the future? Because we earned it. And that's going to be called revenue on the income statement. So over here in the revenue section under the owner's equity, we're going to say revenue went up. So that's going to be 500 there in revenue in column in cell M7 equals. We're back in balance here. We can see that revenue went up in this case by 500 because net income went up because revenue minus expenses equals net income. Then I'm going to put the zeros in the rest of the cells. So I'm in cell C7. I'm going to say zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, and enter. And that takes us back to this cell over here. Once again, if you learn to use the tab key, can really make things faster. We have the balance here. Then we have the activity here. We're going to see what happens down here. So obviously we're going to add these up. So 10 plus the zero will be the 10,000. Zero plus five will be the five and so on and so forth, but we're going to do it with formulas. So we're in cell C8, that equals, now instead of using my mouse to point with it, I'm going to start using the arrow keys. So I'm going to say, use the up arrow, that takes me to C7, then I'm going to use the up arrow again, it takes me to C6. Then if I hit enter, now I'm going to use the up arrow one time. So, and that will take me, and notice I'm not on this cell right here, I'm really down here again after I hit the plus. So that's why I hit the up arrow, that takes us there. So once again, you want to get it to say C6 plus C7, which of course is this cell plus that cell, and then hit tab, tab. So if you can do it without the mouse, the more we can do without the mouse, the better off we will be, the faster it will go. So we can say equals, I'm going to use the up arrow one, two, to get to E6. Uh, and then I'm going to say plus, and then use the up arrow one time to get to E7, tab, tab. Then I'm in supplies and cell G8. We're going to say equals, hit the arrow two times to get to cell G6 plus one time to get to cell G7 tab tab I'm going to say equals in column I arrow up two times I6 plus arrow up one time I7 tab tab we are now in K equals going to hit the up arrow two times K6 plus the up arrow one time K7 tab tab we are now in M I'm going to say equals hit the up arrow two times we're in M6 plus the up arrow one time M7 tab tab we are now in O, we're going to say equals, hit the up arrow two times, plus O6, hit the up arrow one, O7, tab, tab. We are now in Q, we could say hit equals up arrow twice, Q6 plus the up arrow once, Q7, and enter. So then, uh, now we have our assets. If we highlight them, they add up to 10.5. 10.5 is green over here, other side of the equal sign. If we highlight them, it'll add up for us, 10.5, 10.5 we can see that that brought net income up there. And so we're seeing a normal pattern in the receivable. We have a receivable, then we the receivable gets paid with cash. Then we have a receivable, the receivable will get paid. In this case, we're going to record another receivable before we get paid, but hopefully that, that receivable will be paid. Accounts receivable should go up and then down. <laughs> People owe us money and then they paid us. They don't owe us any money anymore after that. So we have the balance here, and then we're going to do transaction D, and then we're going to have the new balance. We don't care about anything above that at this time as we look at transaction D, which says performed work on account and invoice the client. So that sounds familiar because we're in the accounts receivable cycle. So we did more work and we invoiced the client. So is cash affected? In this case, no, because we did the work on account and we invoiced the client. Therefore, uh, we got we got something. We got the receivable again. So we people owe us money. There is value in that. We're going to record the value in that as an asset at the time that we have earned it. So we're in cell E9600. What's the other account that's going to be affected? Because two accounts must be affected every time. And that will be, in this case, once again, revenue. Why do people owe us money? Why are they going to pay us in the future? Because we earned it. We did work and thereby earned the revenue. It's going to be paid in cash sometime in the future, but we earned it now. And therefore, in cell M9, we're going to type 600. And once we do that, we'll get back to green over here, meaning we are in balance. Net income went up by 600 because net income is calculated by revenue minus expenses. I'm going to go ahead and put the zeros in the rest of them. So I'm in cell C9, zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, and enter. That brings us back to the next cell. And now we have the beginning balance. And what happened in transaction D should give us the ending balance. So 10,000 plus zero will be 10,000. 
500 plus 600, 1100, 1100, and so on and so forth. But we're going to do it with formulas. So we are in cell C10. We're going to say equals. I'm going to hit the up arrow two times to go to cell C8, which we can see in the formula bar as well as down there, plus up arrow one time. Tab, tab. Equals up arrow two times to E8. That's the 500 plus up arrow one time to E9, which is the 600. Tab, tab. Equals up arrow two times to G6 plus up arrow one time G, uh, G8 to G9. Tab, tab. Then equals up arrow two, two times plus up arrow one time. Tab, tab. Equals up arrow two times K8 plus up arrow one time K9. Tab, tab. Equals up arrow two times to the M8, which is 10.5 in numer, plus up one time to the 600 in M9 cell. Tab, tab. We can see that that calculates to 11.1. Looks correct. Therefore, equals up two to 08, plus up one to 09. Tab, tab. Equals up two to Q8, plus up one to Q9, and enter. So that brings us down here. Once again, if we highlight the assets, they add up to 11.1. 11.1 is green over here. Liabilities on the other side of the equal sign and owner's equity also on the other side of the equal sign adds up to 11.1, 11.1, and we can see the net income effect there. All right, now we're going to do the this balance is all we care about. We're going to then record the last transaction represented by transaction DE, and then we're going to have the new balance at the end. So... Transaction E says, receive cash on account for work performed in the past. So now, is cash affected? Yeah, we received cash. So we're going to say, okay, so cash is here, 500. It's going to go up in cell E, uh, C, 11, enter. And then why did people pay us 500? Because we earned it. We did earn it, but we earned it sometimes in the past. It looks like we earned it right there. So we don't want to record it again in the revenue, even though that would make our equation be in balance, what really happened is people owe us 1100, 1100, and they paid us 500 of it. Therefore, that 1100 needs to go down by 500. So the other side will also be an asset. If this side of the equal sign went up, it also, and another account is on this side of the equal sign, then it also must go down. So we're going to say negative 500 and enter. I'm going to go ahead and put zeros in the rest here. So we're going to say zero, tab, tab, 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 zero, and enter. All right. And then once we're going to do, we're going to do this one last time where we got, this is our bounce before. This is what happened. This is our ending bounce. We're going to add those up. This plus this, this minus this, and so on and so forth. But we're going to use formulas. So in C12 equals up to plus up one up one tab tab and then equals up two plus up one and again you might be saying well isn't that a negative number but we know that it's going to be a positive number plus a negative so that's why it's going to and if we think about it we know it wants to go down to 600 so we know it's going to be a subtraction problem if it went up then we'd say i ah, you know something went wrong i'm going to try to if i add it i'm going to subtract and try to switch the signs to see that it should do what we wanted it to do. And always remember that you have the calculator on the computer. You know, feel free to double check anything that Excel does that doesn't look quite right. And then try to figure out how to get that formula in there correctly. Equals up two plus up one, tab, tab. Equals up two plus up one, tab, tab. Equals up two plus up one, tab, tab. Equals up two plus up one. Tab, tab, and equals up two plus up one, tab, tab, equals up two plus up one, tab. And so now we can see that our ending balance, our assets add up to 11.1, liabilities and equity add up to 11.1, 11.1, 11.1 here, and income went up by the 11.1 because the only account affected on this side when we think about the receivables is the revenue in this case.